guess what I found at Comic-Con? Hi, this is Dawn Michelle from Makeup or Breakup Blog. And if you've been checking out my Instagram feed as of recently, I was just enjoying Comic-Con, which was here this weekend from October 4th through October 7th in New York City at Jacob Javits Center. And I managed to snag a pass for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, last year I had only gotten Thursday because everything else was completely sold out like crazy and I could not get on in time. So this year I felt especially grateful, although I was especially grateful just to even get Thursday last year, but for this year to get Saturday and Sunday. So I had two days to thoroughly canvas the area, see what I wanted to pick out, pick up some things I thought were especially cute. There was so much to see and do. I will po probably post more videos um, here, um, either here or on my Insta stories, but just to let you know that I did manage to finally find Besame Cosmetics. For some reason, I was like, oh, okay, Besame, why are they there? Well, they were there because they have a tie-in with Marvel. They did uh, an Agent Carter series uh, based on the TV show and the character. And they also did something for Disney, Snow White. So I was just thrilled about that. And another Marvel thing that they did was for Infinity Wars, which they actually did a little homage to via their, um, they did a lip gloss line and an eyeshadow line, mimicking the colors of the stones for the glove that was in, you know, the, the major uh, character in, in the Infinity War movie. So I'm gonna show you a little of what I got. I managed to get quite a few things because Thankfully, when Bessemer came and bought some of their stuff over, they were giving it at a really great, great price. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got and stick around. So first and foremost, speaking of Infinity War, here is the set that they came out with for the eyeshadows. Aren't those gorgeous? And you see they mimic the exact colors of the Infinity Stones in the movie. Now I have a picture here when I swatched well at Comic-Con, I'll post it either here or here, um, but I'm loving, look at the packaging, it's just so beautiful. It's like, I don't wanna open it, but I'm gonna try these. And the colors are actually quite beautiful. I mean, they're not, there's pigmentation there. It's very, very stunning and I have to say, um, Besame does some of the most beautiful packaging this is ten dollars for the entire set right here moving on to agent Carter um, I was thrilled to get this because I was just absolutely dying this is their invisible dusting powder that they did for agent Carter and you see the emblem the logo right there when I take it out you see how pretty it is it has like a plastic backing and also has the Marvel logo there um, let's look inside oh this is so pretty look at this and you see the mirror there it looks like a compass I don't know if I can get that up close to you or not but uh, can you see that it has like a, like a little like sketch but I, yeah it's like a compass so that's really neat and it has the Besame logo on this little sponge that you can use. I mean, it's up to you. I don't mind their little sponges so much. Um, and then there's a little plastic covering on this to keep it safe. And that's the actual dusting powder. And that's used for, you know, setting, setting your face. This is what I mean about a company taking their licensing and actually having some care and actually probably doing even some research to see what they're gonna attach their trademark, their license, licensing out to. And this is the packaging that they have for the Agent Carter series. You see that it's embossed a little bit. It's kind of shiny. This is the palette. And again, you see the Marvel logo underneath. And this is the Agent Carter 1946 collection. And this is the Passport Shadow Palette. And the packaging is lovely. You know, it's simple, you know, but tasteful. You know. And I know every, every thought went into this as far as the coloring, the palette. Look at this. This is the palette. 
it's in the shape of a passport. Is that gorgeous or what? And it says the name of Agent Carter. Her name is Margaret P. Carter. Isn't that nice? And it has her passport number here. And the back, you see it says the best of my name and the Marvel logo. And it reads Agent Carter 1946 Collection Passport Shadow Palette. And it's made in the USA. Besame, and then it says underneath Marvel and Marvel.com. This is beautiful. Now we open it. I'm gonna open it so you can see. Look at that. With a mirror, so you can see what you're doing. And nice colors. I mean, this is this reminds me of the uniforms that they had back in the day, and this color. And these obviously can be used as base colors, and these can be used for more dramatic effect or to, you know, deepen the outer corner of your eyes. These colors are beautiful. And what are they called? Okay, let's see. There's Dugan. There's English. <laughs> um, Leviathan, which is this one. Midnight Oil, which is this one. The green one is called Allies, and it looks like a shimmer. And let's see, this is Zero Matter, the yeah, base color. I love it. And over here on this side, it has her name again, saying her name. It says the bearer and what her profession is, which she was a secretary in London, England, 9 April 1921, apparently it's the year of her birth. Okay, the next thing I got was the Snow White, part of the Snow White collection. It's their 1937 collection. This was the lipstick in Snow White Red. And again, look at the fabulous packaging on this. And it says Disney there with the Disney logo. And it says, get ready to be admired. This is the lovely packaging that it comes in. It's gorgeous with the little uh, flowers and the name Snow White emblazoned on there. And look at this beautiful color. Is that gorgeous or what? Next in the Snow White series were the palettes. Now these palettes were always sold out. I could never get them when they first came in, but now I was able to get one. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Again with the Disney logo, the lettering, her with the apple, and the back it gives the shade, shade range. This one's called Keep Singing Palette. There was two of them. This is the first one. Isn't that beautiful, the packaging? Look at that. And that's her. Show that's her. It. So pretty. She pulls out of the packaging, and that's how the front looks for Keep Singing. And the back has the Best in May logo. And let's look inside with a smile and a song. Fill the world with sunshine, says the lettering in here and on here, and these are the shades. Gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Second palette is the I'm Wishing palette. And then there she is again. And here is the color sequence for I'm Wishing. You love the detail that they use the apple to show you the color scheme. And here's the cover of the palette for I'm Wishing. See what it looks like within and again this says make a wish loves first kiss and this is the color scheme beautiful just simply gorgeous I'm loving this and that's it for my best of me review I can't wait to try these out and post subsequent videos showing the different looks I get from these products this is Dawn Michelle thank you so much for joining me this is makeup or breakup blog and I will see you on the next best of me adventure take care